In this tutorial, you will learn how to manage a SharePoint announcements list. An announcement list is used to share news and status and to provide reminders. Announcements support enhanced formatting with images, hyperlinks, and formatted text. A standard team site will contain an announcement list, however, it may not be displayed on the web page as you see here. So you or someone that has the proper permissions may first need to add it to the page. See the tutorial, Working with Web Parts, for detailed instructions. There are two announcements displayed in this announcements list. Announcements are displayed in descending order by date posted with the newest at the top. Notice this first announcement has three trailing dots at the end of the text. That indicates you need to open the announcement in order to see all of the text. To open and view the announcement, just click on the announcement title. And this will display the entire announcement, whether it's one paragraph or five paragraphs. I'll just click close and that will return me back to the web page. To add a new announcement, click on the link Add New Announcement below the list. The new announcement form displays and I'm going to fill in the title and the body text. I finished adding a title. When I click in the body text field, you notice up above on the ribbon bar the format text buttons display. And this is a rich text field where you can format the text to bold it or change the text color, or change alignment, and so forth. So I'll finish adding the rest of the announcement here. So after I finish adding the text here for the body, I can add some formatting to brighten it up here a little bit. Announcements also provide an expiration date. So if the announcement is relevant after a certain date, you can add that date and the announcement will be removed from the list on the web page. However, it is not deleted permanently from the list itself. So to see how that works, I'm going to enter the expiration date here of June 19th since this celebration we're announcing is on June 18th. And then I'll choose Save. And that returns me to the web page, and the newly added announcement is at the top of the list. If you need to go back in and edit or change something in the announcement, just click on the announcement title. And in the ribbon bar at the top, click on Edit Item. And in this example here, I'm going to change the spelling of Kelly's name. So I make the change, and then choose Save at the bottom. To open the entire announcement list to view all announcements, including expired announcements, click on the title Announcements. You'll notice that here in the list we see four announcements where on the web page there were three. And that's because this announcement here is expired. If I click on the title to open it, you'll see the expiration date is May 31st. And we're now in June, so that is expired, and that's why it does not show on the web page. Then I'll return back to the training page where I came from. The last thing we'll take a look at is deleting an announcement. So to delete an announcement, you click on the title to open it. And then up on the ribbon bar, click on Delete Item, and then OK to confirm. Back on the web page, there are now just two announcements displayed in the list.